The LA Unified School District Superintendent says today that he is absolutely stunned and saddened by the fact that the life of a 15-year-old student here at Bernstein High School ended on the cold, hard floor of a bathroom. It's a societal scourge that continues to take lives despite countless warnings. Authorities say a teenage girl died Tuesday night from an apparent fentanyl overdose at Bernstein High School in Hollywood. Three other students were hospitalized. According to reports, a parent and school employee found an unresponsive 15-year-old girl inside a bathroom. They tried CPR unsuccessfully. Police believe the students bought what they thought were Percocet pills from nearby Lexington Park. Percocet is a painkiller. And police say more and more often, drug dealers are lacing pills with fentanyl, a highly addictive synthetic opioid used to treat extreme pain in professional settings. The substance has been exploding on the black market. It is 100 times more powerful than morphine and extremely dangerous on the street. So we need help from the community. We need to get the word out uh, that this stuff is poison. This is the toughest part of my job. We have deployed close to 10 crisis counselors to this school. Announcements are being made. Uh, to every single student. But Roxanne Villegas believes it's too little, too late. We're now, everyone's so on it just because one kid died. Like, I feel like this could have totally been prevented. Villegas shares with KTLA that her 15-year-old brother was a freshman at Bernstein High before being forced to leave for independent study following two fentanyl overdoses within the last month. He was one of the lucky ones. He survived. Roxanne feels the high school, the district, could have done more with immediate action and education involving the fentanyl crisis when her brother was struggling weeks before the death of the teenage girl. My mother has talked to the school so many times and, you know, she tried her best to tell everyone that they need to investigate because this could be prevented and it just saddens me that it's gotten to this point. Well, Chris, can you tell us more about this death and the drug investigation? Yeah, Court, the LAPD is taking the lead and, of course, asking for any help from the public to try to pinpoint these drug dealers. We have learned that an agent with the DEA, that's the Federal Drug Enforcement Administration, is also part of this case. The LAUSD is planning to release a statement later today. The superintendent says the district is working very closely with the LAPD, with school police and the community to confront the fentanyl crisis.